Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Amazon. Last time, we met the scientist Alexandre Valenbois, who with his dying breath uh, bid us, an humble journalist called Cat Sequences, to return the uh, egg, the last remaining egg of the white birds, to the country Amazon. Uh, it seems to be the last hope for that species to continue. Um, and because this is an adventure game, I don't think we're going to have an option to do anything other than that. Um, although uh, there are probably some things that are more rational and reasonable for, for an humble scientist to do in this situation. Okay, so this is up here. This seems to be the highest room that we can get to. Um, what do we have here? We have a satellite dish. A, ni a nice uh, sort of uh, jury rigged satellite dish TV situation which we can have a look at. There's uh, a drawing board. We can have a look at that. There's a, um, a really big blackboard. Um, that seems to be filled with equations. Again, really nice. Oh, oh, ah, amazing. Again, really nice details that we can um, we can see that are, are a really good use of environmental storytelling here. Now, there's a couple of things here that I can interact with, like this door and this model here. Um, that I don't think I could interact with in the previous version that I tried to play. So let's, I'm excited to give these a go. Cool, it's just going to keep going until I stop it. Yeah, nice. So I think that is what is uh, being drawn here. Which is the, the hydroflot, um, or hydroflow, I think it'll be mentioned as both. Um, uh, in the letter from uh, uh, Professor Valenbois. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's going to be probably our conveyance to Amazon. I think that's just for a bit of a bit of world building there that we look and look at that. And then we could look at the TV. Let's do that. I didn't really catch that, but that that sounded uh, like it had the tenor of a of a political broadcast, um, a reminiscent of uh, various totalitarian states that you may have uh, may have encountered. Right, let's see if we can get through this door. Oh, I can. What? This is amazing. This is a whole area that did not exist in the other version of the game I played. So, uh, but somewhere I would have expected to be able to go. So this is nice. So I can have a little walk around the... Oh, exciting. Walk around the light at the lighthouse. Brilliant, because I, I did wonder how um, uh, Professor Valenbois was supposed to uh, maintain the lighthouse when there didn't seem to be any access to the actual light. So let's, let's go up the ladder. Oh, here we are. That was, that was a short walk. Um, so we can go around this way. Oh, it's another viewing thing. Oh, okay. So some birds coming from 90 degrees. Huh. Nice. Okay. Well, that was cool. Um, and then back around here. So you see, like, the top of this winch. So there's some kind of elevator or winch to get things up the top here. And then we've got these stairs and then we're inside the the very top of the lighthouse. I don't know, is it called the light room? Oh there's a there's a wheel. Well this looks like an entire puzzle. That's exciting. So I can look at this. Oh it needs numbers. Okay. And then can I look at the wheel? Huh Oh, well, this is exciting. What if I pull the handles? Okay, that alters those ones. And this. Oh, it doesn't seem to do anything. 
So what if I get this to 9? What happens after 9? Goes back to 0. And that doesn't seem to be doing anything at the moment. How curious! Hmm. And then this has sort of um, like compass markers or clock markers around there as well. Well, that's interesting. I wonder what that's all about. It's a little red pixel over there. Um, let's go. Can I go anywhere else? I don't, I don't think I can. It's just in the, that room, isn't there? Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Exciting. Um, and then down. Yes, and then in. Well, I'll bear that in mind. Okay, so to go back down is down here. I think what we need to do next really is go into the cellar. So let's uh, let's go do that. I don't think we've got anybody else to phone at the moment. So we need to go down here. One thing I will say about the game is, um, as odd as some of the uh, perspectives from which you view uh, the world around you are, um, it does kind of fit together in my brain, so I've got a sense of the geography of the, the different environments for, for the most part. We need to pull this out for some, for some light, there we go, oh, it's a nice double there. Uh, Double fuzzed of electricity there. So that's the way back up, and then we, I think, we need to go down this tunnel. Um, but yeah, so I think if the um, if you've got the type of brain that just doesn't put this kind of geography together, I think you might really struggle with this game. Okay, so we just went down a long tunnel that only led in one direction, and then there's some a spiral staircase down, which we're going to take apparently. Okay, and then we're looking down. Here. Okay, so another straight corridor, oh, not a curving corridor. Okay, and there's a side room here, and this one, I'll show you what's down here first, because I have done, I've played as far as this before, so I know what this is. This has a, co a cog symbol. I guess that means I need to do something with it to get it to work. So let's go back to the room that was just up here. Just up, oh, this room? Just up. Here, yes, there we go. So in here, there, there's a switch, and there's a computer, some cigarettes. Um, yeah, so I, th I, oh, okay, there's two switches. Well, let's turn this one on. That looks like the main power, and then let's turn this one on. So I think that, oh, I think that boots our computer up, by the looks of it. Can I interact? I can, brilliant. I'm gonna nab this disc first. So I think we're gonna. Oh, I think we're gonna need this disc to um, to interact with this computer successfully. Okay, let's have a look. Hydroflot operating system. Excellent. Uh, if I insert my disc, ah, brilliant. So when it gets to somewhere that you can use your inventory, and that's when the the cursor changes to it. Fab. Password. Ah, okay. So we need to put in a six-digit password which um, is likely to be a date of birth um, so that's going to be in a document somewhere I think that is in our album um, Journey to the Amazon so uh, I'm curious how whether I can um, escape the... there we go so Alexander Vanable was born on the 28th of the 6th uh, 1904 uh, so 2806 1904. Ah, oh, you can exit from any page. This this version of the game is awesome. 280604. Okay, here we go. Oh no, I haven't got the thing. But I can get it now. 280604. Good. Enter. Oh, 04. Start. Authentication. Mm hmm. Authentication. Ooh. Checking status. 
So the, all this stuff was skipped out in the other version as well. So I think the um, the Mac version is definitely far inferior to this this original Windows version. Load the disk. Dating informations. Access base. Yeah. Okay. So that sounded like the door just opened up to me. So we want to go, which way do we want to go? Down the stairs, there we go. Let's be bragging about it, how to, the space fits together. Alright, so down here somewhere there's something on the floor to pick up, I think. Yes. There you go. So that was like a, um, a hooked piece of metal. And then we've got access to this elevator here. Uh, which we can hopefully operate, here we go. Lovely, so now we're here. And here we are, this is the, the hydro flop. Um, yeah, so this is uh, not only <laughs> not only as um, Alexandre has been running the, the lighthouse above, he's also had to time to carve out this uh, secret underground wharf with his um, He's um, a classic plane uh, in it as well. Alright, so this area is uh, potentially confusing. Let's go over here, first of all, towards this office-like building. So notice that there's this um, this rail track that leads down to the, the back of the, um, the hydroflot. Goes up into darkness there. We can't follow that rail up, although I think practically, physically, we, we, we could. Um, but let's head through here. And then head into this office. There we go. So there's a desk here um, with some papers on. There's a nice little hat stand there. There's more designs for the Hydra Flot. And then we head out again, I think. The only thing uh, of note uh, for the for gameplay wise is uh, this piece of paper here. So let's have a look at this. Okay, so this is. Uh, I think it says Accenture Basse Marine. So I think that's the, the elevator to the, the sea base. Uh, so the important thing we want to note here is that this is probably the. Uh, so this looks like the railway track that we saw just as we came into the office, and the egg should be at the end of it, it on a on a little mine car f for some reason. So when I was first playing this, I had the notion that um, the egg was probably be somewhere safe in a sort of semi-volcanic conditions. So I wondered if it would be in a boiler room, if we, when we went down to the basement, there's no boiler room, is there? Um, or maybe at a push, maybe it would be up somewhere where the light is, but as, as we've just seen, that's not, not the case. Um, but yeah, so it's... Um, it's it's yeah it's not any of those things. Um, it's sitting on a little minecart over there. Okay, so uh, this tells me that there's also there's three floors that the elevator can visit. Uh, so we started off at uh, level zero, we bypassed level minus one, and we came out at minus level two where this is little uh, uh, set of stairs that we came down. So we need to find a way to get to level minus one and hopefully take this curving tunnel through to where the egg is. And we can hopefully release it down to the hydrofloor. That should be our aim, I believe. So let's uh, head. We can't go any more in this direction, so let's head back over this way if we can. Oh, hiya! Who's that little guy? That's not a nice little environmental um, animation, not in the Mac version. Okay, so we can have sort of head generally over into this dark corner, so let's see what we can find over here. Um, we can head further into the recesses. So that's back out towards the hydroflot, but then there is this, uh, this lad here, so let's see what we can do here. So we can pull a lever. Um, well, the, the graphics here are a lot clearer than uh, 
previously when I played this is, most of this was just sort of obscured in darkness but this is very obviously a believer so that doesn't do anything at the moment there is this kind of gantry thing and some kind of operator so actually no I guess we can see there's a, there's a hook there so that's probably some kind of uh, lifting apparatus um, we can see from here that will probably come in handy later so what we should be able to do is head over to the hydroflot as well um, I think we have to head up onto this little gantry to um, to head down into it so let's do that and have a look it's a very sophisticated machine it's got its own onboard computer which we can interact with which would be nice um, and then otherwise it's um, it's pretty uh, pretty basic um, so if I get the uh, disk can I use the disk on that slot there we go um, if I load the disk here I wonder what will happen oh I get a choice of modes I can have a plane a sailing boat a submarine, a helicopter, a grapple, or a boat. Uh, a boat? Available. Plane? Fuel, okay. De details? No. Egg? No. Enter details. Okay. Um, I don't know what it means by details. Can I exit? Excellent. Okay. So, oh. Ah, I can just get back in because I didn't take the disc out. Or maybe you don't need to take the disc out. Oh, what's this? Oh, hello. That was interesting. Can I pull levers? Ooh. Intriguing. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I might not be able to get the disc back, which is, is fine, if as long as I don't need it for anything else. I hope I don't. Yeah, so fuel was okay, but it was the egg and the details that we were missing. Well, let's go see if we can work out what the details are. So from here we can head back here, and then we can head this way, because there was sort of a, a walkway across the water of the, of the wharf. Um, so let's try this direction out and see what's around here. Okay. Let's head further down here. So this, I believe, is just another linear path to get us to another destination. So we'll carry on here. Really nice atmosphere in all these renders. Uh, I've got a bit turned around. Am I going this way? I think I'm going this way. Yes. Yeah, so it's like some big steel doors kind of thing that um, obstruct you heading out into the uh, the wider ocean. But there's this extra little path. Here. so let's have a look down here there's like a little tube elevator which is very uh, Jules Verne I guess the whole hydroflot thing is quite quite Jules Verne isn't it really uh, so we're in here and then if we press the button bing okay up we go I think to that oh okay this is detailed let's go up Nice. I like the little uh, mechanical environmental details that there are. It, um, they're not they're not really necessary. They kind of they add a little layer of complication to what we're doing. But they um, they kind of make the world feel just that little bit more um, real and interactable. So I think what we can do here is um, have a look at this observation point as well. So it's just um, just a room with an observation slit, uh, one of these um, optical viewers, and lots of cigarette butts scattered under, underneath. So you can ex imagine that Professor Valenbois spent a long time here uh, looking for things. So it's 140 degrees there, marked in in red. I don't know if that's something significant. Should we try it again? Ah, yeah, so, yeah, if you start off there, then you see the birds heading uh, at 
for approximately 140 degrees there. So that might well be a clue. Okay, so, well, let's pop back down then. Lovely. Uh, okay, well, there we go. Yes, I think that's all we can do with this this uh, location. So let's head back this way to where the um, Aerofly is. Ooh, there. And I think what we'll do is I'll I'll um, kind of leave us. Uh, back. Yeah. If there's any, any extra secrets is there? Let's go sort of. Around where the uh, the stairs are, yeah, that'll do. Um, and let's have a look at some of our documents um, because we we haven't read uh, a few of them. So we read, did we read this one? Yeah. So that was this was the post um, the rejection from the museum that we got from the mail slot in the gate, and then I think the, that's the letter to us that we've read. So let's read these two to finish off the episode and maybe it'll have some clues as to what we need to do. So this is uh, addressed from Mission in Puebla, April the 12th, 1998, which is what makes me think the game is uh, taking place in 1998 in this universe. My dear friend, it was with great joy, tinged with disbelief, that I received your letter after over 50 years of silence, triple exclamation mark. I must admit that I had given up all hopes that our paths would ever cross again, and to be quite truthful, I even thought that you were no longer with us. For we are too old now, I fear, and deep down inside, the joy of meeting you again is mingled with the fear of seeing you undertake such a risky expedition at your age. Yeah, I mean... Yes, because Alexandre was born in 04 and it's 1998, so he's 94? <laughs> wow. Uh, my old friend Alexandre, I believe that I share your feeling of guiltiness towards this poor country of the Amazon. We have made many mistakes that only our youth may explain. Today, in the twilight of our years, we want to make right our wrongs in order to obtain an earthly redemption from our fellow men and from ourselves, which is quite derisory compared with divine justice. I think that's what that says. All this is quite human, I admit, but what folly to set off again at your age the, through the Amazonian forest and marshlands. You will fail on your way and leave your life over here. It's not a very cheery letter so far. What's more, the Amazon you once knew no longer exists, my dear old fellow. Things have changed here, like in the rest of the world. You speak to me of white birds, but I have come to believe that they no longer fly, but in the heady fumes of intoxication of the few denatured Indians that were spared by the inexorable march towards progress. You may think thing that I am very bitter, Alexandre, but if you saw the sad state that country is in now, as if it is called down by a curse, uh, should you persist, however, in your determination to return to Amazon and stop over at one our mission in Puebla, as you have planned it, Note that you will not find the companion in adventures of your youth, but a poor toothless old man who will nonetheless be delighted to receive you under his roof. Then, like two ghosts, we will go and sit on the riverbank to watch the sun set on our lives. May God protect you, David Makovsky, who was mentioned in the letter, the missionary, he went out there. Okay. Alright, a bit more story, a bit more context, and then this typewritten one? Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, Amazon, Office of the President of the Republic, Presidential Palace. 
to Michel Valenbois. Um, it's addressed from Alvaropolis. <laughs> okay, I think power might have gone to Alvarez's head. Um, September 7th, 1998. Dear Sir, I convey to you the heartiest greetings of President Alvarez, who is ill and cannot personally reply to your letter. Naturally, it is with heartfelt emotions that he remembers the adventures, adventures of both you both shared during the 30s upon his return to this country. You will understand, however, that the laws of our country have to be the same for everyone, and the bonds of friendship that you might have had with our supreme guide, or supreme guide, do not entitle you to preferential treatment. I therefore regret to inform you that I cannot process your application for a visa for Amazon. It is our desire that our country cease to be a land of scientific expeditions that might lend some credence, in whatever form, to the existence of those white birds. This Indian mythology, like all others similar to it, for that matter, contributes towards maintaining our native fellow citizens in a mindset that is incompatible with the forced marches that our country has undertaken towards progress and modernity. We trust that you will understand our position and thank you. Uh, Colonel Garciello attached the office of the president. So it sounds like the, uh, the indigenous peoples are um, beset from without and from within, really, um, in terms of the ability to uh, retain and practice their their um, culture and traditions. So that's, that's, uh, that's an interesting bit of world building. But it doesn't really give us uh, any clues as to uh, lift stopping or what on earth to do with the weird contraption in the top of the lighthouse. But that's all for next episode. We'll have a look at those things when we come back. Uh, I hope you'll join me then. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.